Hi, this is Scholastic Aptitude Test Preparation Short. We're just going to do a real quick concept here. So this is slopes of line. And remember, slopes of line are either parallel, meaning that they will like somehow represent each other to the slope of one, or they're negative. Some, some people say it's negative one, but it's really the negative reciprocal of a slope. So for instance, if your slope is negative three fourths, okay, the negative reciprocal of that is really going to equal four thirds positive. So that's how we look at that. So here are your directions. It says, what is the slope of the line perpendicular to the equation? And remember, perpendicular is going to be the negative reciprocal of a slope. Now, first things first, slope intercept is written as y equals mx plus b. Okay, so you've got to get y on its own, and we started here. We brought this 3 over. When you bring it to the other side, this becomes a negative, and this is what is shown here. And the 6 was already here, so you just leave it. Okay, this then becomes negative y, but you try not to get a negative um, variable. So you take negative 1 over, but if you do it on this side, you have to do it on, on the opposite side. So that then becomes a positive 3x over a negative 6, and we'll show that on the next slope. So here's your, here, here is really your slope-intercept form where m is 3, x is here, and this is plus negative b because that's still plus it's just that this happens to be negative so that's first concept if you were looking for perpendicular the negative of that would be negative one-third so you're looking for something where your slope is going to be negative one-third okay so now it says which of the following is a graph of the line perpendicular to the line defined by the equation 2x plus 5y equals 10 and this is a SAT uh, question taken from an SAT given two years ago. They don't change or deviate too much. So 2x plus 5y, as we said before, 5y has to be, or, or y has to be on, on its own side because, again, it's y equals what? mx plus b. So you are going to take over this uh, side. You're going to get x over to itself. This is negative reciprocal, so it's over here. And this was done. It was taken over here. And now you have 5y equals 10 minus 2x. So when you have 5y minus, uh, 10, uh, equals 10 minus 2x, you've got to get the 5s on the other side. Okay, and each term over here, sorry about that, you guys know. Not the best at writing. Um, each term over here has to come over 5. So that's what we did here. And then you see here, this just crosses out and cancels it out. 10 divided by 5 is going to be 2. This is going to be negative 2 fifths over x. So that's what's shown here. This is your slope. Now again, it asks you perpendicular. Perpendicular has to be the opposite, so since this is negative, this has to be positive. It's going to be 5, 2, and that's done on the next slide. That's your negative reciprocal. So it asks you, how do you make which graph is what it asked you. So we'll go on to that next. So now, whenever you're doing and you can just like stop looking at this as a slope right now because this is really what you're doing and remember the top portion are your y values why is that because when you want to do change in slope you go y2 minus y over 1 <laughs> x2 
minus x over 1. Bad handwriting 101. Sorry about that, guys. Um, so here you're going to go. Okay, so that's why your top part or your y values is seen here, and your bottom part or your x values is seen here. So technically, since they're both positive, this means when you're on the graph, if you see a point, you go up five because remember your y values are like on a graph. They're always going up vertically or down negatively. So this would be like negative one, this would be positive one. Okay, so you're gonna go up five, and then because these values are over to the right, you're gonna go over right too. So that's what you do. Okay, so the book actually showed that, and this would be your first point. A lot of people get confused and wanna start here. The line is continuing. See, that's a continuous line. So if you started here, you would still have to go up five points uh, but then and go over two, but it wouldn't show you this. It only showed these points. And actually, they put the graph of this point at being, um, they put it at three, five. So this would be one, two, three. And actually this would show four or five, but it's supposed to represent three, five. And there's another way you can determine if these points work. You can always see if 3, 5 is your first points. And whatever you're going to get for x and y, you can play around with these values would equal. So anyway, if you went up over to 1, 2, that's your x values. Okay, you go up 5 from here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And so your y value is a 5. It's kind of plotted on 3. <laughs> so that's pretty much the answer to that question. And next video, we're going to go over how to make sure and cover this to see if it's if it's uh, if you can plug equations on it on a slow.